Good evening everybody, it's Ruth here, I'm just back again to try and figure out what to do with this sheet of One Sheet Wonder that I made last night. Thank you if you were watching last night and you're going to be coming back to help me out. So this is one of the ones that I created and it was the first one and it's the one that out of all of them I'm still not sure if I quite like it or what I'm going to do with it. But before I get on to that one, I'll show you what I created out of the other sheets that we made. So you did see me, if you watched last night, me cut up the one with the blues and all these beautiful uh, kind of like coral colours. And I've already stuck these down. And then I realised that the butterflies that I showed you yesterday, these were actually stamped onto very vanilla. So I had to re-stamp the butterflies knight of navy onto whisper white cardstock because i actually stamped on whisper white and it looked a little bit odd have it not having the correct color uh shade so i've done that so these are all stuck down so i've got two stuck down on the lovely new this is the terracotta tile color which looks very close to calypso coral so uh, it's a it's a lovely kind of rich color Hi Ian, nice to see you. Hi Jenny and Hilda. So we've got these ones that we've stuck down, that one. And I quite like these. These are unusual in the, in the sense that you've got this lovely dark blue flower and it's a sunflower, which you don't normally get dark blue on sunflowers. I do recognise that, but they kind of work against the terracotta. Then the other thing I want to show are some bookmarks that I made from those bigger sheets. So I've got them. How? I'm fine, thank you, Ian. Lovely to see you on here. Normally you're on Periscope, aren't you? Nice to have you on YouTube. Uh, and so here are the bookmarks. So out of a sheet of A4 cardstock, the UK sizing, I get six. I think in America you probably would get five, I think, cutting it the size that I cut it. So, because I know I probably will get people asking me what size do I cut it at, I cut my One Sheet Wonders at one and um, uh, 14, 13 sixteenths. I know that sounds really kind of very particular, but there is a reason for that. It's because I want my base that I then stick them onto to be cut at one inch and 15 sixteenths so it's just a sliver short short of two inches so that I can get them into the two inch cellophane bags and I find that I can get six out of one sheet of cardstock and they these are seven inches long and then just because I know some people have asked me what I do with them I put my sticker on it with my name and my de my contact details and then I of course do the, the copyright stamping up logo that goes on the back because that's when whenever you create products to sell and they are stamped with or using stamping up product you're you have to adhere by the angel policy and it just means you have to just stamp the copyright stamping up symbol on the back to show that it's stamping up so there we go. So hi Bev, hi, uh, who else is just coming here? Sheila, hi Jenny, yeah. Ian, you've been on a photo shoot with models. Ooh, what sort of models? Trains? Cars? <laughs> so this was the other dear, uh, one sheet wonder that I created and it came out so soft and pretty. And it has got space if I want to do a little verse in there, but I, I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I just wanted to come on and show you. That's what I've done with those. So, yes, on to this one. What am I going to do with this? Now, I have cut these up before and shown you how I make cards out of them, but I thought it would be nice perhaps to do something different. So I could show you how, out of a little piece of it, show you how to do the little triangle boxes that I do. And it, it's a bit of a throwback to one of my really early, early one sheet wonders where I did this. So 
what I recommend you do, so whatever piece of, whatever um, size of cardstock you have, basically you want to have the measurement of, of the, this here, so for me it's 21 centimetres, divide it by two, so that's 10 and a half centimetres, and then cut 10 and a half centimetres off because I want to create a square. So I'm just going to cut that off there, ten and a half. Oh, Ian with female models, I say. Are you a photographer then? All right. So, oh, sorry, I'm forgetting to tell you what I'm doing. So I've cut off the ten and a half centimeters there, and then I've scored at ten and a half centimeters through the middle there, and then at five and a quarter I'm just going to put a little mark now if you want to use a pencil to do this that's up to you or um, I think I am actually going to use a pencil it's a bit easier I do a pencil mark down there and actually just because it's evening and I'm tired I'm just going to put a pencil mark there and there to make it a bit easier for me to spot then you align the pencil mark that's at the top there with the pencil mark that's down there across the middle and you're basically scoring a triangle and don't press too hard i could feel that i was pressing too hard there on the on the cardstock and then you just do the same for the other side and and also this side here as well you do it as a, a hobby, Ian. Oh, I say. Right. So, I'm just concentrating at the moment. Sorry, guys. Here we go. Beverly, you're anxious to see me. Oh, dear. Why is that, Bev? Right, so when you've done your scoring let's move this now I've got this sheet of one sheet wonder that I did on holiday that I thought I'd have a play with as well with you guys so that's why that's there so then you fold these in and this makes such an easy quick little treat box if you've got a little gift to give away watch that Ta -da! look how cute is that then all that remains for me to do is grab my hole puncher so fold that up which I think I want the, the sunflowers to show there like that. just pop these to the side for a second And then just punch like that. And do the other side. Oh, you were anxious to see what these blossoms became. Ah, yeah. Well, so was I. <laughs> I did not have a clue. There's still a third of that paper left that I don't know what to do with. So that's why I thought I'd come on here. You guys could give me some ideas. You're very good at that. And I'm just trying to find some ribbon. got this left over <gasps> this is retired ribbon but it's very nice it's a velvet it's like a velvety ribbon so this would be great for a guy's gift wouldn't it Ian so Ian who's watching is from the UK and we know each other from a different live platform through Periscope so you followed me over here Ian There we go. Oh, this this ribbon is really nice. It's really soft. Yeah, a long time ago. I don't tend to do lives on Periscope so much anymore. You now what? I think I need a, an extra length to that, a little bit longer. So I'm just going to pull that up. 
pull that through a bit more. I didn't like the bow being so tiny. Just do that for now. There we go. Little treat box. So I still have this left. I mean, it would make a rather posh envelopes envelope. Um, I could make a card front with it. I guess might use a part of it for a card front. I could make a little treat bag, I guess. What do you fancy, guys? What do you fancy me making out of this? I haven't got any dies or anything that will cut out the treat treat box. I haven't got anything like that at the moment. Um, I mean, it'd be interesting to cut out sections of it. That would be interesting. No. A gift bag, says Beth. Yeah, we could make a little bag and then also maybe a nice little tag, coordinating tag to go with it. So if we go with my die back, the length of it. So let's think. So we need a bit for the bottom part. So if we cut it at that, uh, say five inches, that leaves us that bit there. Bag with a window. Ooh, now you're getting a bit complicated, Esther. Right, how long have I got here? I've got 19 centimetres to play with, so let's say that's 18. So this is the way I figure out to make a bag. I'll do the maths with you. Because sometimes you have a piece of paper and you have to match, create the bag to go with the, what you have. So... So I'm just getting some scrap to write on so I can do the maths with you. Well, that's, that scrap's a bit scrappy, isn't it? I can't read what I'm going to write. Do it with a sharpie. So I figured I've got 19 centimetres across there and we want to have a number that is a even number as opposed to an odd number. It just makes life a bit easier. So if I take off a centimetre, that means we have 18 centimetres across there. And also it means I've got a centimetre to do my gluing with. OK, so then I would divide 18 centimetres in half. So over two and that gives you nine. And so then I would want part of the nine centimetres to be the front of the bag and part of it to be the gusset. So if I want it to be very boxy, I would just divide that again into two and do four and a half. And that would just mean that I'd, I'd have a very kind of like square box. But then I would, it would mean then I'd have to cut quite a deep base because the base would have to come and fold underneath it. So I'm not going to do that. However, let's go with, what about a three centimetre gusset? So nine take away three is six. So I'll have six centimetres, then a three centimetre gusset. Actually, I think I'm going to go seven two. So we're going to score at seven, then two centimetres. Then, so that's seven plus two is nine. Nine plus seven is 16. And then 16 plus the two is 18 okay so that's what my score measurements and then I'm going to have that little centimeter there left and then it just means that I don't have to score I don't have to score two centimeters here I could probably get away with one and a half centimeters at that point there so if I do that first so I'm going to score my base at one and a half centimeters on that side then I'm going to score at 7, 9, what did I say, 
Uh, Jenny says, with the bright intense colour, I bet it would make a great banner too. Oh yeah, that would be fun. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the lines there. I'm just giving them a bit of a burnish with my fingers. So then in terms of cutting it now, we just need to cut off this portion here because that's going to get stuck down, so we don't need this bit. And then I find it easier just to fold those back and cut a little slip there up to the fold mark, the score line here at the base. need a very thin thin bit of glue there because you know what Tombow's like it will spread and then can you see what I'm doing I've just folded that over and folded that down to meet it and I'm just going to give that a really good rub I give it a good 10 seconds kind of to properly adhere well five seconds perhaps and then 10 if you really want to make sure it's stuck hi Vicky good morning nice to see you and then just to make sure that it sort of it's a bit more square I would then just burnish this box like this way as well just to make sure that the the kind of the corners know what you want them to do so then I'll just pop these two down and that there and then just a tiny thin layer of glue across the bottom there and there you have it a really cute little box but Sadly, I've actually scored, overscored that. It's starting to split. Dear me. A bit too heavy handed I was. Oh yeah, it's starting to split on the other side as well. Ha ha ha, look at that. Okay, so be careful when you score. Believe you me, you can overscore. Because look, that's splitting a little bit there. So don't do what I've just done. And then you can either do a little hole in there. Actually, I will do that. Or you can do a, I was going to say, I'll do a little hole or a big hole. I sometimes like doing quite large holes to make it almost look like a handbag. That's quite fun. But, can I put tear and tape on the inside? What, to fix it? No, it's split down the fold, Bev. I might be able to get some washi tape just to bling it up a bit. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? There we go. I'll see if I've got some... Oh, it's starting to split all the way up there now. Oops. We'll, have to, we'll make a feature of it. <laughs> Put some washi tape. It's because I put too much pressure. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> I'll put a little bit of washi tape up here as well just to balance it out so it doesn't look so obvious that I've made a mistake. There we go! Yeah, it goes quite, it's quite fun, isn't it, the stripe? I do love stripes against florals. That's quite fun, doesn't it? 
a little bit there. So I'm trying to squeeze this washi tape on because you know what it's like. It likes to come off. There we go. Because it's not super sticky, is it, washi tape? It's more of a decorative tape. Right. We have this ickled little bit here left, which I think would look nice on a card. Um, let's have a look. Oh, I'm just bending down. I've got some of this paper to use up. For your birthday, Ian. Yes, you could have it for your birthday. Right, I like that as background, but I think that layered onto something like that would look good, wouldn't it? Or mixed and matched with that. I don't know what, let's do a square card. I'll just cut this off. You know what I'm like, I always keep those little bits just in case. And then, actually you know what I'm going to do? Do that. Cut a bit off. Cut off five inches there. Yes, this is the old, I think it's dapper denim. It's from the way back. This blue. But it's all right with what I've done here, doesn't it? I'm thinking we need to get some of this terracotta tile colour in here. I think we're going to map, map that onto there. Right, so what, what size is this? Get that down to eight and a half centimetres by oh eight and a half centimetres. Oh, that was fortunate. Right, so let's do this at nine by nine. Nine by hi, Freedom Deep. Oh, now where do I recognise you from? Recognise your name. I thought I knew you from Paris again. There we go. Okay. There's a few of us periscopers on here now. Okay, so I've moved this blue over so that the border around there is equal. And then I think I will then place that there so the border around there is equal. Does that make sense? And that just happens to be in the virtually in the middle of of the card. And I wanted to possibly cut out some something with this. I'm wondering whether to stamp the butterfly. Where's my, oh, it's pretty peacock doing up there. I don't know what pretty peacock. I want Knight of the Navy. Right, where's that one? Here. I stamp Knight of the Navy butterfly and then have a butterfly coming off there. But then it's got a bit of the terracotta in it as well. Hi Janice! 
Oh, she can't hear me. She just said she's watching with no sound. <laughs> Someone will have to say hello to her for me. Say, so Ruth says hello. Oh, dear. Right, there we go. Let me move that out of the way. to cut out some leaves with this and have some leaves coming out there. I'm just going to go and get a piece of this colour to do the base with. Potter. There we go. It's a bit dark in that area of my room. I was getting lovely lipstick. <laughs> Wrong colour. So here we have terracotta tile. Oh my goodness, I've just put terracotta tile next to Coastal Cabana. Oh, look at that. That is a gorgeous combination. I'm going to have to try that sometime. trim this off because my the corner of this cardstock is a little bit damaged so I'm just going to take that off. So Jenny says that she likes YouTube better than Periscope. I think I'm doing videos on here. Um yeah you need a thousand subscribers to, to do lives from your phone apparently. I think Janice said that you can do lives from your PC if you have that set up. But just just be consistent. Just keep keep posting, keep sharing your videos, and you know, you, once you get to your thousand subscribers, it's you know you can you can do it. So. And to be honest, if you go on Periscope and tell your Periscope viewers to come and subscribe to you, then it's doable. I'm going to stick this down. Although, just as I'm putting the glue on, I thought, oh, I could have torn that edge. I could have given that a bit more of an interesting edge, but never mind, I've done it now. Right, a bit of this blue. This is a good way to use up retired supplies. So I'm sorry that I'm using paper that you can't get hold of. But you can certainly have a go making this because all the supplies for that are current. Oh, you're making a desk, Jen. Well, video that. Put that on YouTube. People love to know how to do stuff like that. You would be surprised what people put on YouTube. My kids watch a lot of YouTube and sometimes I go, what are they doing? What are they doing now? Right, where's my leaf punch? Oh, there it is. So I'm just going to cut some leaves from this paper here. I love how with this punch I'll have a piece of scrap paper and I'll go, oh, I'm never going to get a leaf out of there. Oh, but I'll just have a try. And it's surprising how little amount of paper you actually need to cut out a leaf. And if you can't fit through all the three, you can quite often get at least two out of a piece of paper. 
So that's quite fun. Right, where's my tweezers? I'm sure I had them the other day. Yes, I did. There they are. I can't believe what your four-year-old watches. You can hear me now. Why is that? Did you have it? the sound turned down, Janice? Right, I'm thinking of having these leaves poke out the bottom of the card. Have you had your uh, get-together, Janice, today? Janice has been meeting up with Scottish demonstrators. Stamping up demonstrators, that is not not demonstrators on the street. Although we have plenty of those at the moment. What with, you know what, the B word. That's going on. Or not happening, not going on, that's the problem. Right, there we go. Oh good, how many that were, did it end up you having? Okay, I'm deliberately not putting glue on this part because I want to put the leaves on underneath there. I will put more glue later. Thirty. Oh, lovely. The national news, yeah, the national news in America and the UK is very interesting at the moment. I've just had a, a notification on my phone that another minister, Amber Rudd, has resigned. She was the minister for pensions and something or other. It's like rats fleeing a ship at the moment in the UK, politically speaking. And I'm really not sure how it's all going to turn out just yet. Oh, I love Charlotte. Oh, oh, fantastic, Janice. Oh, she's a love, isn't she? It's funny, I was just thinking of her the other day and thinking I've not seen her for ages. The big rat won't leave here. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a sucker for American politics. Um, yeah. I do watch a bit of YouTube. Oh, I forgot to twist these ones. I just think it adds a little bit of extra zhuzh, doesn't it? There we go. Pop that one under there. There we go, that'll do. That'll do. They only report what they want you to know or hear, so tie the phone to Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, I, I appreciate that too. But at the same time, I think and it gets to the point where even Fox News are starting to get a bit exasperated with the guy. It's like, okay. And someone needs to take his phone off him, stop him tweeting. Because that sometimes just gives away how, how out of touch he is. But there we go. That's that one made. So, have I got anything left over? Let's have a think. I've got the box there. And I have got that there, a butterfly. Oh, the butterfly. Where'd that go? Thought it was missing something. Oh, I don't know if it needs it now. Well, I'll put it on because I've made it. Hmm. I don't want it to hide the 
I don't want it to hide the sunflower too much. Can't go there. Right. So we've got that, we've got that. I'm sure I had a tiny wee wee little bit left. Here it is. There we go. Um, what could we do with that? That stripe's kind of fun, isn't it? A tag, says Esther. Oh yeah, I could make two tags, couldn't I? One for each of these. Let's see what this measures. If it measures... 10 centimetres, we'll be laughing. Yes! So if I cut this down to five. Maybe turn that one around, around, around. Cut that down to five. Look, that's all I've got left. It's not bad, is it? I really do fancy the new tag punch that's in the new catalogue. I love this one, I've used it so much. But I thought oh, it would be nice to have a new one. And I'm thinking a wee little baby butterfly for this one now. I love that crunch as well, Janice. <laughs> I know what you mean, the punch. Punch crunch. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ian. My artful stamping one, is that it? Is that what you found? I'm thinking, what about we cut that there? Cut that there. And we get a little bit of thread or ribbon, thin. anything too much. Oh, I have. Got some yellow. So when ribbon's thick like this, I th and it's a bit tricky to tie together or loop or whatever, I like to just get something thinner and wrap it round like that. And just tie the bow there. Sorry, I've got all this markings in the background. It's not very clear, is it? But I'll, once I've made this, I'll clear clear it up. There we go. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. I was sneezing a bit earlier and I was thinking, oh, I don't want to have a cold. I think it just might be because I was in the garden this afternoon doing a bit of gardening. 
trying to keep the brambles at bay. Puppy mowed the lawn, so. Oh, come on, come on. That's it. There we go. Right, all done. Put that away. Nice clean bit of cord. Pop that back there. That's a bit better for you to see, isn't it? There we go. Those are the tags. Yeah, I think we've had pollen. I haven't checked the pollen count for today, but I was just sneezing a little bit earlier. That's cute, isn't it? And it's amazing, isn't it, that, that you know, it's only got a wee bit of the flower on there, but it doesn't really matter when you're making a tag like that. And then you've got, you've got the bag here. And then we've got a box. This ribbon doesn't want to stay done up. I think it's very soft stuff. It does, doesn't it? You know, and I didn't really like it so much when it was all one piece, but now I've been, I'm looking at it just with different little pieces. I'm, I actually quite like it. And then, of course, we've got the card. There we go. Hi, Louisa. So, and I always seem to get ink on that bit of my pet, my nail. It's when I open. I think it's when I open these. Or is it when I? I oh, it's when I close it. I must do that, and get it on my nail. Hi Wendy. Oh no, you missed me. Oh, well you haven't missed me. You just caught the tail end of me. So you'll have to go back and watch how we made this. So out of one sheet of, uh, oh, losing the, my words now. Out of one sheet of one sheet wonder, we only have that bit left. How cool is that? So, push it from the back rather than the pull, says Janice. Yeah, push here. Yeah. Even then, I... Yeah, and I try and do it like that, like that, and pull it that way. But when I'm in a hurry, I just go... I just do it. What am I going to do with the strip? I don't know. Oh, I could stick it on the inside of my card. There we go. Push me, pull you. Could go in there, couldn't it? No, it doesn't look right there. I could put a piece of white cardstock in there and decorate it, couldn't I? <laughs> or put it on the envelope. Look, this is a little hint as to what's going on inside the envelope. Ta! Save it. Save it, says Bev. I, seriously. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. Throw it away, Ruth. Because you know what? This will end up in my scrap pile. And in about six months' time, I'll be doing my uh, one of my scrap card making. And it will come back out again. <laughs> yeah, a scrap card. There we go. Right, well, thank you all for your company. Always a pleasure. I'm still editing the video from last night because I'm trying to get it down to about five, four or five minutes so that if you ever want to kind of reference back and see how I did the One Sheet Wonders, it's there. Actually, I say I want to get it to four or five minutes, but, but it's probably going to end up longer than that. It's probably about six or seven. But at some point, people are going to suggest treatment. Yes, yes. My husband probably say bonfire. Yes, that's the treatment for hoarding scraps <laughs> and then I'll just say comic bonfire and he'll go okay and then he'll be quiet so uh, he likes comics so yes there we go 
Right, I need to get on with cutting up some cardstock for my weekend event next week. So I will probably get get on and do a bit of that. Um, yeah, nice to see you all. Take care for now. Ha 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 ha! Not, I know it's not. It's not very funny, is it? We've got November the fifth coming up, you see. So you know, bonfire night and all that. So nice to see you, Wendy. Uh, just yeah, watch the replay. It'll be on in a few minutes. Okay. <laughs> see you soon. Bye.